6,290 pounds despite having a living room slide and a bed slide and under 30 feet at that. Classic Rockwood Windjammer coming into us at Advantage One RV Brokers, the consignment division of Haywood RV. We're selling this for its owner, but we still do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, and RV delivery, and you know, everything in between. Overall, this looks very well kept. If you're looking for something shorter, lighter, uh, nice living space, but you want that good bed slide, this is, this is an interesting mix of qualities. I always like these Windjammers. What's kind of cool here, the front Vino's kitchen, it puts like all that kitchen countertop and bulk kind of hanging out over the tongue of the trailer, which is how they're able to get us a pretty good size feeling living space uh, without an exceptional length. And if you really kind of look at it, if you tweak it a little bit, this is sort of the predecessor to that exceptionally popular 2608 Rockwood front kitchen rear bed slide that we uh, offer brand new down at Haywood RV. Similarly, this has the uh, the lighter color wood tones that I've always preferred in a Rockwood, and I'm really glad to see in the 2021 20, season that those lighter tones will be coming back to us uh, down at Haywood RV. And it's interesting because like your kitchen all wraps around the nose and your pantry is actually located over here in the slide out. This is a model that is very good for creative storage solutions, and it starts right down here. If we slide that drawer open, you see that there's even you know storage under the dinette. We have storage below that larger 22-inch oven. Uh, those are all solid surface counters, by the way. And I, if I recall correctly, this generation of Rockwood used a stone cast sink, which is a 500-degree uh, rated material, so that if you are like pouring boiling water in it, you're not going to melt uh, a plastic sink. Rockwood is one of those classic brands. They still generally will give us storage overhead in the slide, but in this generation, they did it as a matter of happenstance. And you've got awesome cross breezes here. So like if you're looking at this sofa and that window, directly across from it is a huge campsite window for light and airflow. And what is nice too, like if you're on that sofa, you've got an easy view at that Pivot Out Entertainment Center right there. And by the way, your uh, Bluetooth DVD unit is up here. That's actually uh, from when they were using the Genesis system. You can sync your phone to this and technically take hands-free calls through your camper if you are so inclined. All the cabinetry is pocket screwed. Air is centralized. And actually, the ceiling is mini vaulted to give you that nice kind of open, airy, comfortable sense in here. The table's free floating. So if you want to, you could slide it over to the sofa and have a bit of an evening dinofa in front of the uh, television. It could fold down into a sleeper. Or frankly, you could take it outside for picnic time. There's really no one way you have to use it. And then all the little Rockwood touches, like the magnet hold back on that door, so that, you know, the door isn't kind of banging against the wall and stuff like that. Bathroom you see here is dual entry. We've got that uh, larger kind of max air vent fan up top. Uh, another stone cast sink here in the bathroom, and that's a deep sink. Like, you have to see it in person. The camera doesn't do it justice. There's certain things... That in an RV, when I go through with the camera, I'm like, wow, you know, the camera really captured what was going on there. But there's also certain things that I'm like, hmm, I don't think people are really picking up what it's putting down. So sliding privacy door here to close off the uh, bathroom. I wanted to make sure you got to see all the way around it. But also the fact that this has legit linen space, toiletry space, whatever space you need in here. And things that I look for, I like to look at the blades of the fans and see are they clean. If they're clean, typically it's because the RV was well kept and well maintained. If they're not, typically it means the RV was not well kept and well maintained. This RV, by that standard, was well kept and well maintained. And by the way, porcelain foot flush stool down here as well. 60 by 80 true queen bed in the slide. But if you're noticing, you've got those side stands built right in the bed slide as well. Those are handy, but if you wanted to... You could sacrifice those. You could sacrifice some walk-around space and get yourself a king bed in here. You have the uh, uh, cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed right there. In case you're curious, there's you know some outlets as close to the bedside as they possibly could be. And I think actually an easier way to get a look at those is if we uh, lift this bed up, you can see below that, you can see some extra, uh, like, you know, the grill, some accessories included from the previous owners, and a couple of big, giant dresser drawers down here below this. Now, you're noticing carpet in the bedroom. That You know, it's funny. In today's world, everyone's like, no carpet ever. But when this was built, people would actually option in bedroom carpet because they liked that warm feel on their toes if they had to get up at night. So it's just kind of funny how... Buying patterns and trends and things change. People go, why did they do that? Well, because at one point in time, 
it's what people wanted. And it's just interesting how things change. So you see that uh, TV over there. It can pivot around for easy viewing, just like it could in the living room. And this is what's genius. They put the closet against this wall, across from the bed, next to that extra large 30-inch wide door. Although that is a frosty glass window on that, so you maintain your privacy. But, uh, you know, if you notice, there's, there's plenty of, like, room to get dressed. But there is a deceptive amount of storage space here. If we open that up, you can see inside there. And there's also the little outside utility shelf that goes along with the gas grill inside of that uh, closet. And then you've got the four dresser drawers. Now, a quick note. You're going, why isn't he showing me that door on the right? And if you get up close and look at it in person, you see there's actually a screwed on cabinet hinge on both sides. That's because that is actually an access point for something like either a water pump or like a kitchen water filtration system. Not an area designed for cargo. So they make it accessible, but not super easily so, so you don't get inclined to pack stuff in there that shouldn't be. You're not getting a great look at it here because of the shade from the sun, but that power awning, it is the maximum length that possibly could be. Covers the whole sidewall there. Dual entry doors are nice and clearly covered. And the power awning has an aluminum shield wrapped around it so that when the awning's stowed away like this, the sun's not eating it up. Brilliant! This is an all aluminum structure. Basically everything on this is laminated. Since this is Vino's, technically it's a seven-sided laminated trailer. So there you go, seven's better than six, right? Oh, lucky number seven. Um, <laughs> we'll get up on the roof, check that all in a uh, little bit. Power tongue jack, power corner jacks. The underbelly is enclosed and protected. And take a look at just the skin package on this. It is, this is a great testament to how well this is maintained. It is glossy shiny looking good four-wheel independent torsion axles and suspension as you know and love rockwood but those are not the original tires no those are goodyear endurance radials american made rated for 87 miles per hour that being said i hope you never travel that quickly that is not ideal with a travel trailer <laughs> Uh, hard shell spare tire cover to help, uh, kind of like the awning, keep the weather off that. And that's one of those things, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I just call it Rockwood doing Rockwood things. It's just the kind of stuff they do, a little bit above and beyond, you know. Folks, go ahead, go on in. It's so funny, when people see the camera, they act like, you know, they, they can't go in front of it. But that's the whole point of having the campers here, right? So you can come take a look at them. So those folks decided to wait until I was done here. Now they're inside, as I'm on the roof and the camper's rocking around. Probably not my best planning um, ever, but you know, my wife didn't marry me for my brains. I actually haven't exactly figured that out. I think my wife might literally be an example of somebody who uh, chose a partner because I could make her laugh. That must be it. Of course, my jokes got old, as husband-wife jokes tend to over time. Back to the point at hand, you probably don't care about my personal life. Anyway, I digress. Uh, it looks awesome up here. It's been obviously stowed away from the weather. It's been kept cleaned, maintained. It's not chalky. All the seals look absolutely awesome. At worst, I see one spot over here by the skylight. That little corner needs a touch-up bead. That's the worst I've been able to find up here. You see there, there's the uh, fantastic vent cover over the bathroom vent fan here. Just exactly how things are supposed to look on a used RV. The, it's funny is, the RV looks a lot newer than the model year. It's been, it's almost been like time capsule kept. Neither of the previous owners appear to have really used it a lot, or if they did, they knew how to take care of it. So give us a call down here at Halet RV Brokers. No, I'm sorry, that's, that's what we were called. This is Advantage One <laughs> RV Brokers. This is where we sell things uh, for private owners uh, through Halet RV, basically. This is our consignment shop. But what's kind of cool, we can still get you hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything between through the assistance of Halet RV down the street if required. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.